Right in downtown Vernon is the Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery, where the charming John McNamara will happily educate you on all things to do with the love of whiskey, vodka and gin. Well, when we started, we was all, it was all about making alcohol from fruits from the Okanagan Valley. And as time went on, it became also making alcohol from grains from the Okanagan Valley and anything we could find that's local, or certainly from British Columbia. We have fields in Lavington and Coldstream where we're growing corn, barley, and rye. Those we turned into whiskies. Uh, we're also going to use uh, apples. Apples are, of course, very popular, very common in the North Okanagan. We use that for making a neutral spirit. That neutral spirit eventually becomes a vodka, a gin, akavit, uh, and also the base alcohol for our fruit liqueurs. Now, uh, just recently, we introduced a new product to our lineup. Uh, it is one more gin. This gin is very unique in that it is color blue, blue from wildflowers, and these wildflowers uh, give it a very unique flavor, but also when you add anything acidic to it, whether tonic or citrus, it goes from blue to purple or pink. Pretty. <laughs> yes, it is very, very tasty too. Tyler uh, Dyke is our CEO. Uh, he uh, came up with this great idea of uh, creating a, like an equality gin mm -hmm. uh, because he has a project called the Legacy Gin, Evolved Gin Project, and it is about contributing to um, the women shelters in Kelowna and Vernon uh, to aid with transition from bad situations to good situations. So 24% of the profits from each and every bottle go to this, um, his designated uh, shelters. That's amazing. Okay, I am keen to, uh, to taste this. Let's go. All right, I'll set up two. Okay. One for you and one for your handsome cameraman. I said he was charming. Wow, oh, it's a very pretty pale blue. It's gorgeous. That's really nice. It's lovely. It's really nice. So who does, so who's your, do you, what are they called? It's not a brewmaster, is it a distiller? Who? It's a distiller. We have uh, three full-time distillers and one half-time distiller. He's sitting in front of you. <laughs> the full-time distillers are Peter, the head distiller, Chris, the whiskey master, and then Sonia, our newest distiller, who is a gin master. And is it Sonia that came up with the blue gin? She, she indeed did. Her name is Sonia Martinez. She is born in Mexico City but she is a Latina with pale skin like me. So she's a very, very unique character, uh, but not only is she a distiller, but she's a horticultur horticulturalist and a viticulturalist, so she knows her way around. And believe it or not, this gin is made by hand. Every bottle, essentially, is all colored by hand. She takes wildflowers, puts them into a strainer, and then puts that strainer into a bu 20 liter bucket of gin. Is it unusual for to have a, a, a female distiller? I believe that there are three female distillers in Canada, so it is very, very um, unique. We um, do all the distilling here at this location. We have a second location in Kelowna where they also have a still. Um, they are distilling there as well. But they're doing usually the primary distillation on either a whiskey or a brandy or even our neutral spirit from apples. We do all the fine distillation here, and including the, the gins, uh, absinthe, aquavite. Absinthe? Indeed, we do make an absinthe. Canada's very first absinthe, we started making that in 2007, just when we were a three-year-old company. Okay, I can hear people asking right now, can, do you ship across the country? <laughs> uh, we do. Visit okanaganspirits.com. You'll see our entire selection of over 30 spirits, and we ship across Canada and into the U.S. Um, shipping is $25 in Canada. Well, that seems like a deal to me. <laughs> it, it is a deal. It certainly is. Time for some nibbles, methinks, and a quick stop at Midtown Bistro, where Kelly Lacroix is showcasing the best of everything Okanagan. I got my first uh, BC strawberries on the board today. I get all my meats from Helmet Sausage Kitchen. So we got some schnick and speck and ham on there, different salami, some smoked salmon. I get cheese from the local farmer's market or Village Cheese and Armstrong. So there's different cheddars and Havarti's and stuff on the board. Picked up some beautiful gooseberries today. We get our bread from Sweet Caroline, so it's baked locally. We pick it up fresh every day to put on the boards. And yeah, we make our homemade spinach dip. It's got Zelani spinach in there right now, fresh from the market. Um, BC Brine does a lot of pickling these days so it's just some bc brine carrots and then um reckless roots does my flowers as well so we just have a lot of fun putting beautiful things on a board for you guys to enjoy 
Over at the Naked Pig, Craig Moore is all about the slow roast. All of our pork shoulders, they're slow roasted in-house here for 14 hours every single day. Um, we've also got the brisket uh, that's uh, slow roasted as well. What we try and do is incorporate a lot of the Okanagan flavors from the different fruits, the cherries, pears, um, and then a variety of different uh, uh, smoked uh, sort of wood that we use, and that really infuses the flavor. What's your favorite? Mm, I've got to say the, the badass brisket filly is my personal favorite. Uh, you can't go wrong with, uh, with our brisket here. It's uh, just smoked right to perfection and uh, is one of our most popular items as well. And cheese. Drop by the cheese shop, where Matt McLaren will sort you out. Oh, well, we have all kinds of cheese. So, I mean, from anything from just a washed rind, uh, soft, medium to soft washed rind cheese, to blue cheeses, Goudas, Swiss uh, Emmental-type cheeses. and um, How much of the cheese is local? Well, we have a Triple Island Farm, which is a Gouda from, from Cherryville. Here. And we, we do carry a lot of La Tonta Latte's cheese from Salmon Arm area. We have some from the Upper Bench, closer to Penticton. We sort of get in BC cheeses as, as they come, because it's, they don't really have a distribution center. And then we get a lot of cheeses from Quebec, but it's mostly all Canadian cheeses, basically. If you really want to take your taste buds for a walk, you can join Loretta Friedrich, who's just launched a foodie tour. I've noticed the incredible amount of ethnic diversity in the food in Vernon. It's only 41,000 population. How did all that come to be? Well, it's interesting. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research. As, as a fairly new person to town, I've got a lot of experience when it comes to the food industry when, when I wore many hats in various provinces. And so I've, I'm covering almost literally every day that there is so much value and, and food history with the cultural diversity, the uh, experiences across the board from Japanese to other ethnic groups. And I tell you, this, this town is dynamic. It's, it's not just the sleepy town that's cousin to some of the other uh, Okanagan uh, cities, but this town is, is coming alive and it's busting open and this food scene is amazing. And it starts off with that culture that has been present and there's some, you know, stable, some, some people that have been around for the longest time, but now there's doors opening up, like there's cheese shops and bread shops and, and all kinds of like uh, places to eat, uh, chocolate places, uh, tastings, and so many rooms like olive oil and, and vinegar and etc. So can you, can you see how excited I am about being I, I, I can't. <laughs> hmm, need a little something sweet. Ooh, sweet hoopla. Bean to bar chocolate is um, chocolate that where the producer actually sources the beans and uh, brings them up into their facility, roasts them, and produces the chocolate from a single origin cacao bean. And uh, you end up with a wonderful array of flavors, um, each unique based on where the bean is grown. So is it kind of like coffee? It's very much like coffee, or you could even equate it to making wine from grapes from different regions. Which in the Okanagan you would do. <laughs> That's right. And as, as it turns out, the chocolate goes very well with certain wines. Now, you, the nuts are what you make. Tell us about that. Correct. Yeah, the nuts is a family business, and they're Bavarian-style roasted almond right over here. And um, uh, we do them ourselves here in Vernon, B.C. Last but not least is lovely Carolyn Grant, who recently fulfilled a dream she'd had for 40 years and opened the hot bread shop at 60. I thought I didn't want to have the regret that I didn't at least try, you know, something that I've always wanted. And when I moved to Vernon 20 years ago, I wondered why I thought there's no bakery downtown. So it's kind of been percolating and percolating. And then turning 60 just gave me the extra drive to just go for it. And? And I did. And it's fantastic. <laughs> so tell us about your breads. All made here? We make everything in small batches from scratch every morning with almost all our ingredients ingredients are organic so we use no canola oil or margarine or corn syrup we use real butter we use olive oil coconut oil uh, the bakers are encouraged to take their time to so we move away from the mass factory produced baked goods to it's more like home baking so everything tastes and looks beautiful so you gave up all your part-time jobs started the business any regrets none at all no I incur in fact on the back of my business cards I put do your dream 
to encourage other people that whatever your big dream is to just go for it. Yeah. My big dream now is to have some of this bread. Yay. <laughs> Next time we tell you how we worked all this food off with a little goat yoga at some of Vernon's most historical sites. And yes, it was followed by afternoon tea.